everybody, hello and welcome to your weekly coach. I'm Lacey and I'm super stoked you're here. Very excited to be here myself. And this week, gosh, I just have to say I've been loving your questions and your submissions of topic ideas. And I love it so much because it gives me an idea of what you're struggling with, what you're thinking about, what you're pondering, what's coming up for you. And so I'm going to pick one of those questions that you've sub submitted to me and we're gonna play with it in this episode. Just see where we go with it and what we learn about ourselves and our lives. So let's get started. So this question uh, is, how do I remain hopeful with news and with the current social unrest? God, it's such a good question. It's so relevant, right? And I'm assuming that you are a good person and and that if you're asking this question, you just want people to feel good, you want people to feel better, you want to feel better yourself, and you want to feel like your investment and like your your family and the people that you love are going to be okay, right? That's kind of this, we have this human, social, personal need to know we'll be all right, to know that when things aren't, things are uneasy and they're up in the air and they're confusing and they're unfair and they're full of, um, a kind of frenetic energy about life that at some point we will have some resolve. That's what we want. It's how we work. It's the human condition, right? So I, but what I like to think about is I like to take it back to like, yes, we are a world of people, but if we can bring it back to ourselves and how we work with change on a personal level, we can better understand how we work with change on a global level. And what I mean by that is this. And I learned this when I was a teenager. It's that, um, do you remember back? Like if you think back, maybe it's it's been a while or maybe it's really new or maybe it's currently happening for you, but remember back to something personal that's, that like it was this moment before a big shift or change for you. If you remember back to that moment, like I remember back to moments of realizing that I had more control over my life than I knew. Um, but that was uncomfortable and I remember um, um, moments of, of getting into high school and like having really low self-esteem and then the, the moments the moments or the months for that matter leading up to finally like taking my power back they were really uncomfortable they were moments, moments of personal unrest they were depressing they were frustrating they were filled with internal battles and I think that that can be something that we can learn from in our own uh, social political climate right now is we are dealing with our own um, fighting and our own battles and our own ways of being and I think there's a beautiful lesson that we learn and that's this is that right before something beautiful comes of it right before we expand into something that we hadn't before that we hadn't maybe even known there is this struggle and turmoil that we hold on to and that, that we must move through because that's part of learning and growing. Growing, It's part of becoming. We learn things we didn't know before. It's part of um, moving into a, a bigger, better version of who we are and how we live and that's what we're constantly doing. The history of the world, we're constantly growing and shifting and evolving and moving and going and creating and moving and going and creating on and on and on. And it feels a bit sometimes when you're in that in-between spot, that unrest as as um, this person called it, it feels scary and it feels like we're sliding backwards. But we must know that as we put our efforts forward, we are in movement. It is a good thing. We will make it. And I think that that's the other point is we must maintain this solid belief that, that things will be okay, that we will put our efforts in, that we will make it forward, that in the history of the world, we have a pretty good history of figuring things out and moving it forward. And also, I think that it helps us when we can take our um, anxiety and our, our, our questioning and our fears about what's currently happening and the things we feel we don't have control over and put a little control over it. And what I mean by that is um, if there's something that you've, you're feeling really strongly about, put your energy into something really positive, something really positive that supports what you believe, that supports who you are, that supports how you show up. Um, I also love like work out. Right, get that energy that you've got kind of pent up and moving, stirring around in you. Work out, get that out. Put on your favorite jams, like your favorite mix. Make a playlist if you don't have one, and just get that energy moving. the The worst feeling in your body is stagnant energy that's fearful and pent up, 
that you can't move and express. And we're moving and expressing human beings. That's how we do it. And if you are not moving and you are not getting that to cycle through your body, you're just reliving it and working it around and it's, it's gross. It's, it's yucky. And then I also like to remember this. And that is we need resistance in life. We don't want it. Like we'll say, oh, I just, you know, I, I just love it when everything's just going so great, but we actually don't love it when everything's going great. We need a little bit of contrast to show us who we want to be, right? The contrast in life when we're like, who in the world is this person? Like what in the world do they think? I had no idea these people existed. I had no idea this thought process existed. We need that, and, and maybe scary as it may be that other people believe or think different things, we need that so that we develop our own constructs of who we are, this, so that we grow more fully into who we are and how we show up in the world, so that we believe and have a, a greater anchoring in what that means, right? We aren't just like, oh, I do this and I believe this because I have no reason, I just do, or I just like grew up that way, right? So the more... Um, questioning that we're caused to do, the better, because it forces us to um, redefine our beliefs. And if we're never taught to think about what we believe and about who we are, when, when the time comes, we're not really sure that it feels more scary, right? So this, use this time, use this time in focusing your hopes, as, as, as this person said, how to remain hopeful during these unrestful times socially, um, use this to be stronger in yourself and stronger in what you know. Use it to listen to yourself, use it to listen to others, use it to be curious, and also just know we're human beings and we need, we crave, we'll never say it, but we crave just knowing the difference between who we are, who they are, um, uh, and, and, and it allows us to define uh, why we believe what we believe, um, why it's important that we know what we know, and um, why we care so much about it, why things are so important. No big or great thing was ever achieved because we felt comfortable. And that's hard to say, right? No big or great thing was ever achieved because somebody felt comfortable. And I think really big, great things are happening for us, and it is uncomfortable. It's it's not fun to be a part of. And during this time, I also, I also want to encourage you to give yourself permission to take care of yourself. So as you're going to the gym, you're working out, also understand that you're, we are constantly consuming so much information, both in marketing and advertising and information and news. So when you, when it comes to the news and when it comes from articles you can read and when it comes from your scrolling of your Facebook or your Instagram, Take a little time in your day, carve out like 10, 15, 20 minutes if you can to just like be with yourself. Prime yourself with a good book, uh, a meditation, something that's like inspiring, something that brings you back to who you are, to regardless of what's happening around you, the soul of who you are becoming, what you are creating, what you know for certain, that just like feels good to be you. Cause you're no good if you're flying all over the place and you're scared to death, you are at your best when you are connected with your soul, you're soulfully connected, and when you are seeking that continued connection as we move about the world, okay? And then, like I said, take action towards your feelings. So support something that you believe in uh, join a group, like do something. Um, if you're into advocacy work, do that. If you um, if you want to create something that's positive, that maybe doesn't necessarily have a connection with the, with this social unrest, that's fine too. Just do something that makes you feel connected and, and as if you are a part of moving this forward. And then, oh, this is the biggest one. It's so hard, you guys. Don't take on other people's energy. You can't do it. What that means is, Watch the news as you need to know the information. Read articles as you need to know them. But do not consume all of your mind with news and negative thoughts and fears and information. I remember growing up, my mom would always, I loved watching like Rescue 911 and like trauma, life in the ER. 
It was so cool. I loved it. But the problem was it didn't make me feel great. And my mom taught me from, God, I remember her walking by my bedroom. I was like 12 years old. And she'd be like, I'd, I'd hear her walk by and then she'd walk back by and she'd be like, how does that make you feel? And I was always like, dang it, not great, but it's entertaining. And I think that's true for us here, right? So I will beg the question that my mom posed to me. I'll pose that also to you. How does it make you feel? This time, more than any other time, when we are feeling this social unrest, as, you, as, as this person brought up in, in her question, um, when we are feeling this social unrest, it's even more important that we stop and we ask ourselves as we go through each segment of our day, how does this make me feel? As I'm scrolling Facebook, how does this make me feel? Not great mostly, right? Um, as, as you're reading an article, how does it make me feel? Do I feel informed? Do I feel scared? Do I feel even more cynical and critical and terrible? Like there is a point in which you have information and a point in which you are just consumed by the stuff. And the, the, the goal for you is to figure out how do I get the information that I need and be real with yourself, okay? You don't have to know everything. Nobody has to know everything, but not too much so that you can maintain your energy so that you don't take on the world's energy and you're not scrolling the comments of this super scary post or article or whatever and you're not getting caught up in people's drama. Like that behooves nobody, okay? And then what else? What else do I want to say? Oh, this is good. This is really good. You'll I think you'll like this. I think you'll like this maybe most of all. Deliberately search for the good. It's harder to find, right? It doesn't pop up as a, like a breaking news story. But I want you to deliberately search for the good. So if you're going to read an article that doesn't feel that great, but that you feel as though you need to know the information, I want you also to look for one article that shows you and teaches you the good in the world because there's a lot of good in the world. And I think the greatest thing you can do to remain hopeful and positive is to remember the good that comes forth in the world, is to remember who we are, is to remember who we innately want to become, is to remember that we really do want to be better together. We have different thoughts and ideas about how that happens. And I think that it helps us to uh, remain calm when we feel uneasy and when we feel a bit out of control and we feel surprised that we can just come back to ourselves and remember that people of the world, the people that surround us everywhere we are, there is good in the world, that you are good, that you, that, that we will be okay. And I hope that that helps. Um, I hope that that support helps to support that. So go out deliberately find and share, find and share it, share it with other people. You're not the only one I'm assuming going through this feeling of like, Jeez, guys, are we all right here? This is like pretty scary. And then getting consumed because we're humans, we get consumed and we pull in all the information we can because we think information is safety. We think information is power, which it is to a point until it's too much information. And then you're just like depressed and rendered useless and angry at everyone. Um, so share, deliberately share the good. You'll help other people in doing that. And remember that you have a lot of control and power in your own life. So do what you can with your own life, with who you are, with your circumstances, to feel better, to create change and to be a part of the change that you're creating that is for the good, all right? So that's how, that's, that's my, those are my best words of wisdom for how to remain hopeful with the news and with our current social unrest. I hope this helps you, I hope it serves you. Stick with it. It's a discipline. It really, really is. It's a discipline. So be, be tuned in, pay attention to it. Um, I hope it serves you. Uh, practice this, play with it throughout the week. I hope it helps you. Hopes it, hope it helps you remain calm and true to yourself. Take a little time to meditate. Be careful of your thoughts and mindful of what you're consuming. Um, surround yourself with people who have ideas and thoughts but who are open and who support you and, and um, sharing your thoughts and who are good listeners and want to learn and um, help make the world a better place too. And also consume a lot of good content because for all the negative stuff, we got to consume even more positive. So consume that and then also share it. All right. All right. 
Until next time, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for the questions. Keep them coming. I love creating these videos for you and I hope they help you um, as you deal with your own circumstances in life, as you come up with these questions and you're just like curious, like, hey, you know, what are different ways to, ways to deal with it and handle it? So I hope this helps you. And until next time, have a fantastic week. Know that who you are, you matter, you are enough, and you absolutely belong here. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.